Six, five, four, three, two, one. What's up, guys? It's Big T. I don't how I don't know how we did it, but we got here. Apparently, there was a bit of a snafu, and we had to figure some stuff out real quick. But we did because that's what we do. And guess what? We're here. And now, because of that little delay, there's less people than usual, which means you have a better chance of winning. See how that works? So, guess what? It's Friday. It's for something. This week is almost behind us. I can see the tunnel of light shining through. That is the weekend. Although it's still a little bit away. But before we go there, we're going to have some fun today. I have some great trivia to the sure to test your knowledge. Before we get started, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Linker, for giving us one of these Gatorade GX bundles. It's a bundle because you get the bottle and you get to choose which bottle you want. There's actually a couple of cool ones. And you get to choose which flavor of pods you want as well. So that's lots of fun. I don't know. It's lots of fun. Uh, so, just like, just like the first sale of, yeah, I can't say that. There is a line in there that I cannot say. I'll say this: be the quickest to answer all five questions, and you will be the new owner of a Gatorade GX bundle. This week's topic is all about soccer, or as they call it in my homeland, footy. That's right. So let's get started. Let's do it, Zane. Let's do it. Most of us have played soccer at least once in our lives, whether it was during PE, at school, or in Little League team during the summer, right? The excitement of being part of a team and kicking that first goal, right? And the parents are all yelling and screaming. So much fun. I can remember having a ball kicked directly in my face. And, you know, you stand in there with the tears coming down your eyes and you're shaking your head like, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Over and over pretending like you're all right, but you ain't. And the best part was telling your mom last minute that you were in charge of bringing all the snacks for the team that weekend. And it's today. Thank goodness for great moms thinking in advance and picking up some drinks and oranges. Remember, I always had the oranges cut up to help quench that thirst, give you some vitamin C. But let's see, where did it all begin? Let's, where did it all start? So let's find out. In question one, where did the game of soccer originate? Was it in Japan, England, or Spain? Uh, 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 whoa, we're definitely outside today, people. It's an out, outside sport, so we figured we should be out here. Now, there are records that trace the history of soccer back more than 2,000 years ago, but both ancient China, Greece, Rome, and parts of Central America claim to have started the sport. Hmm, a little bit of a tiff there. Can you imagine people just kicking around big rocks or some makeshift ball type thing? Crazy. But in 1863, it was England that transitioned soccer or what the British and many others around the world call football, football, footy, into the game that we know today. Wow, that one was a ball buster. Apparently, I'll give you a second, get out your wallet, buy back in. I think some of the other ones are easier. I didn't realize that one was gonna be so hard. Sorry about that. The English are credited with recording the first uniform rules of the sport, including forbidding tripping opponents and touching the ball with your hands, which is most likely why they take credit for it officially for making this pastime a national treasure. Youth soccer has also exploded in popularity in the U.S., and a number of youth soccer players and organizations has skyrocketed in the past decade. So, let's talk about that. For Q2... How many youth soccer players are there in the U.S.? 485,000, 1.6 million, or 3 million players? No matter which one of those is right, it's all a lot. A little rugrats. As I said before, youth soccer has exploded for many reasons, but I think overall just getting the kids out on the pitch and the fresh air, running around, that's number one. Anything that gets the kids tired is a win in a parent's book. I know this, right? Yes, there are, count them, 3 million kids in youth soccer. And that's in the U.S. alone. So, that's, that's a crazy amount of kids. Insane. There are 10,000 clubs and leagues and nearly 1 million administrators, many of whom are coaches and volunteers. Thank you very much. I myself volunteered as a youth basketball coach for many years, and I have to say it's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. 
good on you coaches keep up the good work and I've started to actually see the kids back out on the pitch lately which is great to see so let's move on much like in the game of basketball a soccer ball is in constant motion during the 45 minute play period while the only player that is allowed to touch the ball with their hands during the game is of course the goalie players are allowed to touch the ball when it has gone out of bounds and that's the only time after that only legs chest and heads are allowed in order to get the ball in the goal but who is doing most of the running around? Let's find out in the next question, question three. Which players are in constant motion while out on the field? Is it the midfielder, the goalie, or the center back? Hmm, I have to admit, I did not know the answer to this. I do remember going to Little League soccer games and there was always that one kid that just stood there the whole time during the game, just watching or picking grass or his nose from the ground. Mom and dad on the, on the sidelines, you know, go, Johnny, go, but nothing. Mm -mm, he wasn't moving, right? <laughs> but then there was, yeah, Zane, Zane, Zane just raised his hand. I think he was that kid. But then there was the kid that hustled like crazy back and forth, up and down, much like professional, that's right, midfielders. That's what they do when they play. They are all over the place. Oh, so these last four people, they are our soccer people. They know what they're talking about. So that's why they're doing so well right now. Midfielders, including right, center, and left, are in constant motion during the game. They are usually placed near the goal area and protect the goalkeeper. These players run back and forth across the field throughout the game, ensuring the opposing team doesn't get too close to making a goal. Not today, son! Not today! Sorry, getting excited. Did you know today's prize Gatorade... That company started back in 1965 and was going is going strong ever since. For the past 56 years, they have been the leader in sports-related drinks all around the world. It's why we actually got this prize today to give away. Now, we know that a lot of athletes like to keep hydrated during the game, but do you know why it's so important to do so? Let's see why. In Q4, why is keeping hydrated during a game so important? Lowers the risk of injuries, helps keep airways clear or because mom said so huh, i think we know the answer to that one don't want to discount mom in any way if she says so it's so but when players of any sport are out on the field their first thing that they have to think about is being safe that counts for both themselves and their teammates by drinking water or refreshing sport drinks loaded with electrolytes that help with hydration this will help keep players sharp which actually lowers the risk of injuries. See how that works, kids? That's right. It's no fun seeing your favorite player, little Johnny, getting hurt. And this is just one way to help prevent that. Ooh, down to two. In 2020, the Premier League introduced a mandatory one minute pause in each half to ensure players keep hydrated throughout the condensed summer schedule following the coronavirus lockdown. It's that important to stay hydrated. The best in the world have to stop and get something to drink. So grab your favorite sports drink and let's move on. And no, Coors Light is not a sports drink, even though you think it is. With soccer being the most popular sport in the world, needless to say, it would be incredibly hard to rise through the ranks as a professional and then even harder to rise to the top of those elite players. So for Q5, who is currently the number one player in the world? Is it Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, or Robert Lewandowski? Mm -mm -mm. Who is it? Who is it? I had heard about these guys over and over again and thought to myself, hey, what's all the hype about? What's the big deal? Then I checked them out on YouTube and once you see what they can do with their crazy athleticism and that ball, and let's not forget, that's against other professional players, then you go, mm, okay. Now I understand why Lionel Messi is considered the number one soccer player alive. Of course, everyone knows Cristiano Ronaldo is my favorite. I, I think I actually have a crush on him. He's that good looking. Zane, actually, if you could order me a poster of Ronaldo when this is all over, that, that would be great. I mean, just if you have time, I'm not saying. It's just embarrassing. So embarrassing. Oh, I got... Zero correct. It, there it looks like there's no one left in the game. I, I really thought that that one. See, you guys chose Cristiano Ronaldo, who's my favorite player. You didn't choose the actual number one player. Well, that's it for today. I would like to give a big thank you to everyone for playing. 
and to our event sponsor Linker, make sure you visit your wallet and load up on links to make sure that you are loaded and cocked and ready to go when it's time to play. Remember, the more you buy, the cheaper they get. Don't forget to subscribe to my event feed to stay up to date on upcoming events and get reminders when it's time to play. And remember, you are all winners in my book. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday at 4. I'm taking this home myself, right? Because you guys didn't win it, so that means I get to keep it, right? And then next Monday at 4 o'clock, it's all 80s music all the time. That's right. And you might have a chance to win because we will not let Jason play because he is all 80s all the time, right? So we will see you guys there. Play 80s music all weekend. Love you, miss you. Have a great one. Cheers.